Hey! Penny Fash, 25th of September, 2019. I need to share this with you that in the past couple days, there's been several things, actually, that have pointed out to us here who we're dealing with when it pertains to both the UN and the 70 nations and all these things. I was looking at these articles the last couple days about all the world leaders descending on New York, right? They descend, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what I'm seeing like over and over again this week. The 600 meetings that they're having, these 200 leaders, right? So 200 leaders descend on New York for UN General Assembly. 200 descend. Same exact thing we find in Enoch and in Genesis 6. Enoch 6 and Genesis 6. In fact, Enoch chapter 6, verse 6, and they were, in all, 200, and they came down on Ardis, which is the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called the mountain Hermon, because on it they swore and bound one another with curses, with oaths. Okay, they made oaths with each other on Mount Hermon. 200 leaders descend on New York for 600 meetings, right? 600 meetings in a world of conflict. Okay, now in Jerusalem, the 70 nations are working to push the Noahide laws. And Noah, the flood of Noah, had to happen in order for God to start over, essentially, and be rid of all the corruption that the 200 had caused. And now 200 leaders are descending on New York for the UN, which happens to have an outpost on the very summit of Mount Hermon. You cannot make this stuff up. Mount Hermon, the UN, look at this, the United Nations is the highest permanently manned UN position in the world, known as the Hermon Hotel at 9,232 feet. This is what is at the very top of Mount Hermon is a UN outpost <laughs> where the 200 descended. And they're bringing in Noahide laws. The 70 nations will become the UN, if you will. And Noahide, Noah was 600 years old when the flood came in order to be rid of what the 200 had caused. You see where I'm going with this? They're all just deceiving the nations, both the people in the UN and the people in the 70 Nations Conference. Most of them have no idea what they're doing. They, they don't even have a clue that they're deceiving themselves and the nations. And the 70 Nations are really deceiving because they're calling people in for a non-Jewish sacrifice. It has zero to do with Noah's covenant. So this is an outright heresy right here, saying that this sacrifice will renew Noah's covenant. God made a covenant with the earth in Genesis 9, 9 through 11. Noah made his offering when he exited the ark in Genesis 8. Okay, and they're having it on the Mount of Olives, right? Mount of Olives just happens to be where Jesus ascended into heaven from in Acts 1 and he'll return in like manner. It's just a mockery, you guys. There's so much proof in the Bible that Jesus is, in fact, our priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. It's just unbelievable what these deceivers are doing. And they're deceiving the Jews probably more than anyone else. And it's working through this Kabbalah, black magic and sorcery, all of these things combined. They're throwing everything they got at the world to be sure that their deception is successful. When we are successful, and we will be. And that's what they're doing. These 200 are the literal direct descendants, right, of these same people pulling off this phony fake sacrifice, the synagogue of Satan, the same old Pharisees, the vipers. They are the descendants of these 200. Okay, and this is who we're dealing with. These are very powerful principalities and powers. You, you do not attempt to go after these things 
on your own. Jesus is the only way as this world gets crazier and crazier, in case you can't tell. And Trump, he did a conference on protection of religious freedom at the UN the other day. And if you listen to his speech, you'll see that what he's really doing is just promoting the Noahide principles. I am the chosen one. Laying the groundwork so that people will agree that yes, these, these Noahides are, make perfect sense. Uh, this, this could actually bring peace to the world. It's the enforcement that matters. And that is exactly what they're building right now, is their enforcement grid. And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. And nobody is paying attention. It's all coming, folks. It could be sooner or later, but it's coming. And without Jesus, you will be ensnared. Otherwise, you're being nasha. You're being beguiled, deceived. It's a trap. You understand? I really, really hope so, because this is what we're looking at. The 200 leaders descending for 600 meetings. The 200 fallen on Mount Hermon, where the UN as an outpost. <laughs> I hope this makes sense, but this is just what came to me the last couple days, and I believe it really does have some relevance here. They're trying to put you under the curse of the law, because Christ came for one sacrifice for all. No more of this blood of goats and bulls and animals, but they're deceiving the world into believing that they have the answers, that they are the light of the world. When in fact, Christ is the light of the world, and those who believe on him, just lean on Jesus for your understanding. I hope you're all having a good week. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 